how to fulfill orders on Shopify in 2023 for dropshipping. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking in great detail and depth about how you're going to be able to fulfill orders on your Shopify e-commerce store but using, you know, the dropshipping provider that you're doing dropshipping with and it's going to be really easy and it's going to be really simple to do this so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to get the whole in detail concept about it okay so whenever there's you know orders to fulfill shopify will give you a notification or whenever there's payments to capture shopify will give you as i said a notification so it's really important to fulfill uh, these things and fulfill these notifications for yourself so what you're going to do to uh you know fulfill it is first of all we're going to go ahead and log in with our page okay and uh, as we're going into the logging in of the page what we are going to want to do is we're going to make sure that our account is fully set it up because most people what they do is that they leave their account to uh, have set it up and that becomes a huge issue for them later on and that is something that i don't want for you to happen you know the user watching this video right now so we are going to make sure that our account is fully set it up and as your account is fully set it up from there, what you are going to want to do is you're going to have a general idea of the type of store that you're creating and the type of things that you want to mess around with. So as you can see, once we have loaded into our store over here, there's a few things that we need to capture. Now, what do I mean by we need to capture some things, right? So I mean by that is we're going to go ahead and there's two things so there's pre-fulfillment and then there's fulfillment pre-fulfillment is product weight shipping rates and packages and then there's fulfillment which is providing tracking and then there's finally post fulfillment which is you know when your job has been done so let's say when someone you know actually buys something from you you're going to go up here in orders and once you go into your orders Obviously, the servers at Shopify are a bit slow right now, but once you go in orders, you're going to find all the um, orders that need fulfillment. So you can find all those into your main Shopify section from there. Then moving on, basically what you can do uh, to fulfill the different statuses of the orders, you can uh, find yourself to um, go ahead. Okay, so let's say I'm just going to wait for the space to load up. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead into your dropshipping handler. So let's say in my case, I was dropshipping through CJ dropshipping. Okay, so I'm going to go over to CJ dropshipping. And when there's an order that needs to be fulfilled, uh, what CJ helps us to do is basically it's going to give us the options to go into the orders dashboard. And in the orders dashboard, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and uh, choose the different uh, orders that need to be fulfilled and once you fulfill them you can go back to your shopify store and wait for the payment okay if the payment's not there then you don't need to send it or give it a yes or you know give it a go on the main store to give it a go on the main store you're going to wait for the payment to come in once the payment has finally come in then obviously go ahead, give it a main go on the store and you should be good to go. And moreover on Shopify, what you can do is uh, like once you're on CJ, we're going to go into my CJ. Okay. And my CJ is basically how you're going to be setting in to your Shopify's app market with the CJ dropshipping center. And moving on, once we load my CJ in, I'm going to go ahead uh, and if you don't have a CJ, by the way, uh, the, the sign up process is really simple. Uh, again, if you're in orders and the orders need fulfillment, just go ahead into CJ over here. Uh, once you go ahead into your CJ, trust me, the working is easy scrappings. And uh, you're going to enter the email that you want to make a CJ account with for drop shipping. So paste that here. Then obviously comes your basic uh, password so i'm going to go ahead with that here we go then you can confirm your password so here we go with our password confirmation click on agree and then finally click on next then there's username that you can confirm for yourself there we go then there's first name last name choose your phone number and finally click on continue 
Then once you've done that here, you can see it says registration successful and just connect it to the provider. And I say mine is Shopify. I'm going to go ahead and click on submit. Choose the amount of uh, workers you have. I go six or 50 per day men's clothing and I'm going to click on submit. So once it's loading, it's going to come over here and now finally you're going to go into my CJ. Okay. And uh, obviously when you've, uh, you know, imported an order into your orders over here or imported a product into your orders over here, basically what's going to be happening is uh, your orders are going to show over here from all the locations that you're going to be on. And you know, when it needs fulfillment, you're going to come to your drop shipping provider. Once you're in your drop shipping provider, you're going to go in orders and you're going to go in order fulfillment. Once you finally come to order fulfillment, what's going to happen over here is it's going to give you a whole order fulfillment widget where it's going to ask you to fulfill orders using the different uh, techniques that you're going to work with. So there's all evading payment, there's pending, processing, dispatched, completed, closed, and abnormal orders. Okay, so in this case, it says no data found, and it says please change the filter for unpaid orders that have been created for more than three months and have closed orders that have been placed for more than six months. Please search via order numbers or by clicking Excel to export. Okay, so you're going to go with the orders, and uh, obviously, you're going to tell the retail members or the vendors who you you know, took the order off of. And you're going to tell them that, yeah, the orders has been processed. Uh, a customer has ordered them and I would like it if, you know, you send them the money out right now and uh, that would be pretty well off and, you know, just fulfill the order, let the payment come through. And once that all has come through from there, you're going to fulfill it from your Shopify store. And from there on out, it's going to be really easy pickings to work with. So, yeah, basically, that's how the order fulfillment works on Shopify. And, you know, through your dropshipping provider. And let's say if CJ dropshipping isn't your dropshipping provider, you know, there's some other dropshipping provider that you use. The fulfillment process is the same. All you're going to do is you're going to come to the dashboard of whatever your provider is. And once you come over to the dashboard of your provider from there, go into your orders, go into your orders fulfillment and just fulfill your order. And everything should be good to go from there. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.